We are in Le Deux Alpes in France. The Type of 3 Snowboard Tour year 2007 and recording podcast. I have uh, Franz uh, Rief. Riffel. Riffel with me. Quite difficult and um, Franz would like to share with you a way to organize all your templates, type of script, and uh, the files involved in development of Type 3 websites in a way so you can use Subversion to manage it. And that allows for sharing. Uh, development, collaboration, exactly. stuff like that. More people working together, and they don't have to care what the other is doing right now because mm -hmm. the version takes care about that. Yeah. And you can use your favorite text editor for doing typo script. That's what I like the best. All right. All right. So we started out by uh, setting up a dummy installation in uh, of Typo 3 and uh, you have a USB stick with yeah. some interesting stuff. So yeah, just it's just the extensions because the internet connection is not that good here. So. You can download it from the extension repository. They are in there, but we bring them from a stick right now. So I assume I can import them you using just import this, them the regular exactly. way here. So it's a yeah. T3X file. Um, see that? Just the right. three of them. Yeah, exactly. just, um, Have you start with the temple selector then? Uh, Robert's template yeah. selector. Right. Okay. So we take this one. And we just have it in our TypeScript configuration because we think it's nice to see how it works, but basically it works without it also, if you configure TypeScript different. So now we can go ahead and um, there are two other yeah, extensions. Yeah, we import the F template first and then the FTSconfig. So we try to create a family about this. F means efficiency, mm -hmm. a family of extensions where we put all the efficient stuff we think is quite cool for building a website fast and serious and secure later on because right. of subversion. So, uh, mm, I wonder if ready. this maybe tricked us. So now we should have Robert's template selector and we have the efficiency um, extension there. Exactly. So maybe we should also install the next one, the third one, All right. and we have everything there to, sure. to start. So, we just go ahead. Sorry. Casper uh, is confused. <gasps> What are we going to do? Choose file. In the meanwhile, I would say thank you to Irene, who had the initial idea to this, and who's staying at home at the office. So the two of us, Melanie and me, can stay here in this great area, have some fun, meet some nice people. Thanks a lot, Irene. Next year, it's your turn. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> nice All right. to be here. Now, hey, we're at the stars. Back, <laughs> <laughs> Back to here. <laughs> All right, okay. so um, all three extensions are installed. Yeah, we shipped with the F template extension, we shipped just a small basis tree as an example. Yes. So there is a, in there, if you go to the file system, there's a folder resources and there is a small, um, what do you call it? So you Import, want me export. to bring up Finder and exactly. find the podcast and dummy. You know where you placed it. That's it. Template exactly. Right. There is right. a resources folder exactly. Yes. There's just a small basic tree. Okay. So it's more easy to to have set it up if you start website from scratch. So um, you just import it yeah. right at the top. Um, and so uh, maybe we I just would like you to to put the force UIDs because then it's more it's sure that it will go correctly. Uh, template and in the resources folder the basic tree. Exactly. Good. So we upload the file and uh, we see the structure Indeed. here. It's nothing special. Just one basis template, TypeScript template and then a set of pages. And here please check the force all UIDs. Force all UIDs. Yeah. So it right. you're sure that it And we nice. import the whole we thing. Should be quite and fast because it's pretty small. Here we go. Good. So now you see this is like the, the basic page tree we often need for some small yeah. um, setups, just the meta navigation, which is home, contact, and imprint. Maybe you can for sure change what you think best. And then right. there's a, the preset of content elements. This mm -hmm. we didn't invent it. I just found it in some extension. I think yeah, it's from yeah, you. Yeah. So it's just in there again to 
to see how a basic page 3 would look like. Well, and now we clear the cache and have a look at the front end, and there should be already the page with the basic yeah, just template, so we the just basic setup. Here we go. That looks like a little different on your machine. Right, never mind. So, so, uh, so there is maybe, yeah, yeah something like, like that. Now, like so. This, yeah. so we have just two different parts. It's the left part, the main navigation. If you click on content elements, it will just... Uh, oh, no, I forgot something. <laughs> yeah. We use uh, static, simulate static templates, uh, simulate static documents. And for this, we have to activate the, the mod rewrite. Do you have it Ouch. on your machine? <laughs> if, if not, it's just, uh, well, we have yeah, to, sure, sure, to sure. show the way sure, no problem. how you can configure the template. So we um, can change that quite soon. Let's see. Sorry, MV I forgot this. Uh, okay. oh, HD access. Uh, HD access. Should we have a look at my list here? Uh, mm. okay. All right. So, made HD access. And we'll see what my editor says to this. Um, yeah, looks pretty much sure. like what That's we need, okay, so like by that we could try again. And here we go. We had more luck this time. Yeah. Simulate static documents enabled. Good. So can you put the, the whole screen again like before? So Because there is a small navigation sure. over there. Ah, okay. Right. Now we have it over So it's just so. quite easy. Main navigation to the left. Yeah. Small meta navigation to the top. Two right. types of navigation and yes. content elements. Yes. And now just we should have a look at the tr at the file structure of the extension yeah so we just can explain how it works good so and how it is to be edited to the needs of the guys good so this is the extension this is extension there's a resource where we where we picked up the basis tree yeah there is a big templates folder mm -hmm. in there is all the html css all that stuff maybe right i you, ah, you see exactly. so css css is a css files media Media is the logo, for example, mm -hmm. we had to upper left, and the template main maybe is interesting. This is uh, the main basic HTML template, yeah. which we saw in the front end. The most important thing are these two files. These two? Extension TypoScript mm -hmm. constants. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Have a look in there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We switch directly to the other one, because it's more interesting, the, the content, I think. Set up. So these two files are included automatically via typo. Yeah. So we don't have to care about this. Just use the same name. Mm -hmm. And in there, you see all the configuration. Right. Not like separated to different TypoScript templates. You have just all in one nice text file. Yeah. And you can jump directly to the to the parts. And we try to to organize it a nice way. Mm -hmm. So first, you see all the config, the basic config part. And then, then we have a small doc type switch for the Internet Explorer yeah. because he still likes to be somehow different than the others. And then plugin configuration. And then you can place all your plugin configuration in there, which right. means you install plugins. Then you want to reconfigure them probably, mm -hmm. override basic configuration, and you just place it in here. Yeah. Good. And then there's some temp objects which we use normally if you want to place some objects on a page you need to configure. So all of this would normally go into a TypeScript template record inside the system? Exactly. Good. It's How are these files uh, included instead or used instead of the constants and setup field? Well, it's, that's because of the name. Mm -hmm. Typo is recognizing this name if you write it like this As and in it's the including extension. it into right. the template. The big point is that this configuration has to be at the end mm -hmm. of all the templates because otherwise it won't be able to override yeah. the basic configuration. And for this maybe we should have a look at the, at the page three on the main root level side. Let's see, did we did we take a look at all the uh, stuff in here? We also had, okay, so this is just other it's HTML just a, files. Yeah, exactly. It's just a way right. of organizing it. Have a look in it. You will pretty soon figure out. So the whole happen. extension is responsible for setting up the website. Exactly. And in this way, the extension can go into a versioning system like CVS or SVN exactly and um, multiple developers can work together on exactly. it exactly so back to the backend back to the backend good 
And one thing you always need is one basic TypoScript template. We, we put everything from TypoScript out into the text file, but in Typo you need, at the, the root page, you need to have one basis template. So uh, we see so it in there, it's that's basic. That's the one we have right there. We, we can uh, have a look in there, what's written in there. So you maybe can compare it normally. Mm -hmm. So there's a one constant, meta navi pitch, parent ID. Yeah which is just uh, that one here mm -hmm. to have a separate small menu over there. Yeah. And if you scroll down, you will see there's nothing in it except the CSS. No constants, no setup. No constants, no setup, no nothing. So there's nothing in the database. Right. It's just pretty cool because the database you cannot use with a version, for example, with a conversion. So in system. fact, all you are doing is to use this to set the root level of the page tree, exactly. and then the extension will provide all the configuration exactly. for it. Exactly. I have one question. Mm. What do you do about rendering of content? Because normally you would have this uh, static um, file to include um, a CSS style content for rendering of the content elements. That's true. And, well, it should be included. Oh, maybe you didn't have installed a CSS? <gasps> I thought it would be, would be installed by default, so that's why I didn't. No, it's a dummy website. Uh, really? But on my yeah. page, it's, I think it's over there. So I thought. Well. Loaded extensions, so, so you should install it. I think you should always install a CSS. Uh, style content. Oh, here it is, exactly. Yeah, we'll have to add that one. So well, maybe we'll If you go back, it should be there already then. Exactly. Yeah, okay, so there we see it is included. So that's, that's you have still to do if you have extensions which needs that you include the static templates in there, we still do it in there. I have a question, okay. because in the extension you use the, f the, the ext um, files that set the configuration and the uh, constants, um, the setup and the constants exactly. uh, globally. Can I have multiple different websites in this structure then? Well, you can. But then you, you just have to reorganize the extension a little. Okay. If you, if you need to have different global parts, for example, if you have uh, different U, um, what do you say, URLs, mm -hmm. then you can put two folders in the extension and place there the text files, but then you have to call them manually with the TypoScript function. Yeah, yeah. So this is just a, the, simple, the most simple setup. All right. you can use. Uh, to me it looks like you uh, would start a project by this um, extension as, as a Kickstarter or something. So, yeah. Is that how you do? Yeah, that's how we do. All right. So this extension is will be different on each project. It's mm -hmm. not an extension you install on every project the same. You just put it there. But you could start a whole stuff. website with this. You and can then you could it. go to the... Because all the files are organized as they should be and you just need yeah. to exchange the templates and, exactly. and so on. Right. That's the idea we want to bring. Install the extension, have a look how it works and then exchange it to your needs or change Good. it to your needs. There was another extension also. Yeah, but I want to show one, one mm -hmm. important thing still. Um, maybe you can go for the template analyzer. Yeah, we'll have to install that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> It's, well, it's even good then on this one. the people see how to get it. Yeah, it's, we are very basic here. You need it. Template analyzer, I think we had it there. So we need to reload the go. backend. The template module is around and here we have... Add some more extensions, Sorry. I think, to, to get them. So oh template yeah. analyzer. Yeah, exactly. there we see. You mm -hmm. can see that our extensions are right at the end. Yes. And not just because we installed Robert Lemke's extension first. That's because we put uh, the priority information into the file where you configure the extension. Yeah. So it will be always at the bottom. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you later on install new plugins. Probably, normally you do install lots of plugins, but it will always be at the end. Right. Therefore, overriding the default stuff. That's the quite important thing, I guess. Good. So the, the F template is the one for the front end. TypeScript, plugins, HTML, CSS, and all that stuff. And the FTS config, as the name tries to say, is about the backend configuration, the user TS config and the page TS config. Yeah. All right, that's a very interesting approach. And uh, thanks for sharing it with us. You're welcome. Um, and um, yeah, <laughs> joining me in my studio. Uh, so now nice you have a tan studio. on the one side of your head. Yeah, well, maybe I should. From these 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm sure the sun is strong enough for that. Yeah.
Yeah, you're going to sit longer than me, so... I am. I hope you will survive it. I hope I will. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are like... <laughs> <laughs> good. Thanks, Hans. And, uh, good luck with your See project. You then. Thank you.